Hello everyone and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to show you how to make these adorable donuts and how to attach them to a keyring as well. So for this donut you'll need your icing colour, so I'm using blue. You'll need some sprinkle colours, I've got these, I'll decide which one I want to use later. You'll need the yarn for the brown part of the donut as well, so I've got some on the side. And then for the keyring, you'll need your keyring equipment and I've just got some jewellery tools here that will aid me. You also need some darning needles to sew in your ends uh, at the end of the project, some scissors and lastly I'll be using 35 millimeter hook for so to start we'll be making a slip knot so wrap it around your finger twice pull this one forward pull this one forward get your hook and grab this one right now chain 12 one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven and 12. Right, so without twisting or anything, you need to join to the first chain we made. So I'm going to go in like that, so it's not twisting. I'm going to go in here and do a slip stitch. So get my yarn and I'm going to pull it through both of those loops. Like so. And then you need to chain one. And now in that big gap you see right there, you want to do one single crochet. So the pattern we're going to follow is one single crochet, one single crochet, two single crochets. So in the next space, right over here, let me fix the blur. We're going to do one single crochet in the next chain space. This uh, ring will be a bit difficult to work into, but it does get easy as the rounds go on. In the next one, you want to do two single crochets. So we're just going to do one, one, two, one, one, two. In the next one, you want to do one single crochet. In the one after, one single crochet. In the one after, two single crochet. Whoops. One, two. Whoops. In the next one, one single crochet. In the next one, one single crochet. In the next one, two single crochet. One and two. In the next one, one single crochet, and in the next one, one single crochet. So at the end of this round, you should have a total of 14. Right. So I'm just going to count and come back. So the way to count this actually, if you want to know you've got the right stitches, is just count these Vs. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. So once you've got 14, you want to slip stitch in the first single crochet you did. So throughout this entire circle, all we'd be doing is one single crochet, one single crochet, two single crochets. So chain one to start the next round and in that very same space, do one single crochet, next space, one single crochet, next space, two single crochet, one, two, 
in the next space one single crochet in the next space one single crochet in the next space two single crochet so at the end of this round you should have 18 single crochets so go ahead and work up the 18 single crochets following the one one two pattern and i will meet you towards the end of this round So I've done my 18 and now I'm going to slip stitch on the first single crochet that I did. The next round, chain one and in that very first one, work one single crochet. Please follow that same 1-1-2 pattern for this round as well and at the end of it you should have 24. So 1-1-2. One, one, and two. Keep going until you have 24 stitches and I'll meet you towards the end of this round. So I've reached the end of that round and I have 24 stitches. I'm going to slip stitch into the first single crochet I did. And now we're going to repeat the same thing. So chain one. And into that same space do one single crochet and the next one do one single crochet and then do two single crochets follow the one one two one one two until you have a total of 32 stitches for this round so go ahead and i'll meet you when i finish this round So I've got my 32 stitches, it should be looking something like this, don't worry too much. If it looks a bit wonky, that's fine. And now we're going to do our last round. So slip stitch into the first single crochet to end the round. And our last round is basically, chain one as usual, is one single crochet in all 32. So you should end with 32, we're just doing one single crochet in each one so go ahead and do one single crochet in each one and i'll meet you at the end of the round so i've got my 32 what i'm going to do is slip stitch into the first single crochet and pull through the loop now for to end this one properly so it looks nice and neat you're going to go into the next one and do another slip stitch into the next one and do another slip stitch like so and then you're going to get the rest of the thread and just snip it off go ahead and pull this out and put your hook from the back and pull this yarn towards the back of the work. So what we're going to do is get our darning needle and sort this out a bit and I'll show you what to do next. So get your centerpiece and just pull it a bit, make sure it's nice and tight over there and put it this end through your darning needle. Right, now that I've done that, I'm just going to go through up over here through these these ends and what I'm going to try and do is get to around the middle and just pull it through might be a bit tight and what you'll do is get the other end and do the same so I'm gonna get this end and go halfway there till I can tie a knot and finish that off sorry I have to bring it super close to me to get it through and so on. So I'm going to meet this halfway, pull my needle through and just tie a knot and finish that off. So what you're going to do for the brown part of the donut, which would be the dough, um, the bread or whatever, uh, you need to do exactly the same as we did on the icing 
but with your dough color. So I'm going to go ahead and do that and meet you back at this tutorial. So I've done my brown part as well and my blue part which is the icing and the dough and what you'll do is where you've tied the knots is the inside of the work you're going to place them that way and I'll show you how to sew them together. So get your thread in a similar colour and what we're going to do is just where these ends meet right the first chains we did we're just going to try and crochet them together. So on my first one, what I'll do is I'll pull it through and I'll tie this knot so it's secure. And I know that this donut is not going to come apart. So go ahead and in this manner, sew the donut. It'll be a bit fiddly to do because it is the insides. But by the end of it, you should have a secure one. So while I'm sewing this, um, I'll just say, if you enjoy my tutorials, please do subscribe because I've got my next tutorial will be an ear warmer. So I'm so excited about that. And the ear warmer will be in any size you want to do it in. And um, also, if you want, you can follow me on Instagram. I post my daily updates there. So you get to see all the good stuff on my Instagram. And um, yeah, I try and give out inspiration, do some patterns and share it with everyone. I've recently started working on my blog as well. So I've shared a recent blog post on how to make a successful Instagram page for crochet. If anyone's interested in that, you can head over to www.radcrochet.com. So I'd say this is probably the fiddliest part to do. And once it's done, that is it. So you can see how I'm trying to do it, just sewing it very carefully. like so it's as you've probably guessed it's not my favorite part to do so you check on the inside make sure you've sewed all the way around and when you're happy with that you get this thread and you tie these ends together and cut it off so i'm just gonna do as i said Tie these knots, make sure that donut never comes apart, and like that. So, actually, before I did this, I was meant to add the sprinkles, but it's okay, we could still add it now. So, get the color of your choice for your sprinkles as it's not too late. It's just easier to add when, um, let me show you. They're just easier to add when you've got one flat disc and uh, I got carried away with the tutorial. So let me just show you how to add them and we'll continue on finishing off the donut. So get a sprinkle colour of your choice and just put it through your needle. And what we're going to do is just work sprinkles into our donut. But with the first one I do, what I do is whoops I tie it on so I know these sprinkles are not coming apart anytime soon so two knots will do the job then go ahead and randomly place your sprinkles wherever you want and if you've made mistakes like this then you can just fix it by adding a sprinkle there like so so I'm just gonna go ahead there's no method to this. Just add them anywhere really. And I'm going to come back to you when I've finished my sprinkle. I'm going to add two colours because I like them extra sprinkly. And I'll come back to you when I've done my sprinkles. So I'll quickly mention when you've done one of your sprinkles just leave that end loose and I'll show you how to finish that off 
with your second colour. So I am done adding my turquoise sprinkles. I know it looks a mess but what you're going to do is just tie knots to secure these. This is just to make sure your sprinkles cannot be picked apart. Right so this is what my icing looks like and now what we're going to do is close the donut. So I'll show you how to do that. You're going to get your darning needle and get some brown thread or you can use the thread that's of your icing colour. And I'm going to cut quite a long piece because we have to go all the way around the donut. And I'm just going to put it through my darning needle. And I'm going to show you how to do it so that this also is very secure. So what I am going to do is I'm just going to put my yarn through here. Just a random space really. Like so. And to make sure my donut does not come apart, I'll tie it on. But notice how I'm doing it away from the edge. Right, so this is probably my favourite part because it is the easiest part. What we're going to do is just join these outer edges together. Is go through here and I'm just going to sew these two together. Now make sure you always grab the same one. So in the next one, I'm just going to sew these two together. And we just want to go around a bit before we actually start putting the stuffing in. So keep going. And I'm going to meet you when I've sewed around up to this point here so we can add our stuffing in. So when you've sewn around a bit more, you're going to get your stuffing. I've got some that I bought from Hobbycraft and you're just going to stuff your donut as much as you like. You can use the end of your crochet hook and stuff your donut. <laughs> this is also another fun part of the project. <laughs> So I'm going to meet you when I've done stuffing this donut a bit more. Right, so I've stuffed my donut quite a bit and I'm just going to seal it up now. Like so, just keep going around and when you reach your last stitch, like I have, I just keep going on for a bit longer. So I'm just going to spread the stuffing out at this point and I'm just going to keep going just a tiny bit more so I know this will definitely not come apart. My donut's so secure guys. <laughs> right, when you've done enough, what you're going to do to finish it off is just go in and out, in and out. So put your needle in, bring it out of anywhere you like. Put it back in, bring it out anywhere you like. And what it does is it gets caught in the stuffing, but sometimes I like to put it over one stitch. And then bring it out. And I just keep doing this till I'm happy and I know that this donut is not coming apart. So once you done your last bit what you then can do is go ahead and cut that off so now I'm going to show you how to attach your key ring so get your key ring bits you can put this just like this if you want but I like to put it through this I'm going to open this up and put it through my donut and I'll show you what that looks like I will attempt to do this on camera. So I've opened this up a bit, enough for me to get my donut through. So let's put my donut through. Whoops. I'm just gonna grab that. And I'm gonna find a place on my donut where I want my key ring to go. Um, I'll put it through these two stitches here 
So what I'm going to try and do is put it through these two areas here, like so. Then get my key ring, put it here, and then I'm going to close this off. It's very iffy, so let me see if I can do it on camera. If not, I'll have to edit it out, <laughs> but hopefully not. Right, there we go. So I've attached my keyring to my donut, and this is what it looks like. You could try these keyrings in as many different colors as you like, like I've done here. And I really hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. Sorry about the lighting, it might be a bit dark. But thank you for watching and I hope everyone has a lovely day.